What's going on, YouTube? Happy Wednesday. It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina, where we're back in my lawn. Uh, we tell Monday, you should have been able to see the project lawn. We talked a little bit about the plan going forward there, what we wanna do there. So go check that out. Showed you what it's looking like over there at the church project lawn. So stay tuned for that as we continue to pray a whole lot about that situation and to try to uh, grow some cool blue grass over there at our church so stay tuned for that today guys we're talking about color change this is a total just for fun video because it's my lawn i like to have fun in my lawn it's grass and we should be able to just have fun right and do things that we just want to spray for fun and that's what today's video is all about color changing the lawn i want to see if i can get the lawn a little bit deeper with the product that we're going to talk about today that we've talked about many times on the channel in the past and so i want to introduce it to you right now and then we're going to show you the lawn uh, what it looks like now i'm going to come back at the end of the day and film which will be included in this video and you'll be able to see did the product make a difference or not and if it didn't we'll say that it didn't if it did a little bit we'll be able to tell you that so let me grab the product and let's take a look at 700 green effect many of you are already familiar with this product and it just arrived in my door at my doorstep from mr gci turf pete over there uh, got it to me in probably like two days they're so fast and that's why i love shopping there uh, green effect uh, it is a fertilizer but i spray it for fun and i went crazy with this early in my lawn care journey i loved it so much because i saw that color visual response from the grass uh, that i just like man that's so much fun i was spraying this all the time so 700 green effect is seven percent urea nitrogen you guys know how i feel about urea it's amazing it makes it look awesome but we are still in mid-august so we're getting closer to seeding and overseeding in september here in north carolina 70 degree soil temperature right uh, so we don't want to go crazy with it but we are adding a little bit of urea nitrogen in summer so be advised of that if you're going to do the same but secondly, it's got 3% sulfur. Sulfur is something that helps our lawn as well. Sulfur is another product that helps my lawn, specifically my soil, because our pH is a little high right now. It's been a while. Uh, me and Mr. Blake and Mr. Kevin were on a text thread the other day, and Mr. Blake was bragging. Yes, he was absolutely bragging about how beautiful his soil test was. I'm just kidding. He was showing us the results. And I said, man, I need to. And so he, he convinced me I need to go ahead and get my soil test ordered. The last one I had, we did at the church. And uh, so I need to get some here to do my lawn. So those are on the way. But uh, I need to check my pH. pH is something else we need to be aware of. We want to keep it in that six to seven, six to, you know, 6.8 range to keep it in slightly acidic range that fescue grass likes. But sulfur is one that can help to reduce or lower uh, our pH just a little bit and then iron six percent so you got seven percent urea six percent iron in this bad boy that's where you're getting the color change from the iron and the little bit of urea not so much the urea but the six percent iron that you're feeding it is really going to darken up the grass especially if you've not applied iron anytime soon which i've not done a lot of iron i've really laid off the iron because of my soil test i did a lot of this with microgreen is the double dark cocktail. I've laid off of it for, I don't think I did it all last year. I might've done it a couple times a year before. So I'm hoping that I'm getting a true visual color change with this today. That's the hope. Um, and lastly, something I never paid attention to, 10% uh, citric acid is in this product right here. Somebody was just asking me about lowering pH and citric acid is one of the products recommended to help also lower pH levels. So if you're on a six, uh, 6.0 for your pH, you probably don't want to be using a lot of green effect but, or ammonium sulfate because these are products over time that also can push down pH numbers. So you want to be mindful of that. But if you're like me, you're up near seven. Uh, these are the products you do want to push. Ammoni ammonium sulfate type fertilizers, citric acid, and sulfur are all items that can help push down our pH to keep our grass happy and those types of soil. So we're going to mix up the, the max rate for this that it talks about is um, eight ounces um, for cool season and warm season. It's eight ounces per thousand square feet. We're probably going to go eight to nine on that maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I, I think I'm going to push it because I want to see a, I think my lawn looks good color wise. You know, like, Mr. Ferguson, I've seen your lawn. You just showed it to us not too long ago. Are you serious? Like it's that it needs 
No, I just want to see if I can get it dark. Now that I feel like we're on the edge of summer, that's why I purchased this, have a little fun. And, uh, and, and we haven't done a video where I do anything. I'm always talking. I don't like that. And I'm sure you guys don't like it. So we're going to mix this up right here and uh, just carry the camera around, show you me spraying it. And then we'll come back and show you what it actually looks like. But before we do that, let me do my best to show you what the lawn is looking like right now. So again, this is, uh, you know, eight o'clock in the morning. So there's Sarah Jane, get ready to go to the pool. Uh, the kids are going to go off with uh, grandma to the pool. But uh, this is kind of, you know, you can kind of see in the shadow here. Uh, you're getting an idea compared to my neighbor there. It's pretty close. I can tell just looking at this, my grass is a little bit darker than his. Um, I don't know if you can tell that, but I can. Uh, so it's hard on camera to show you a green effect. You can see the shade of green there. Maybe we'll come back and try to see this, but it, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, 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 the sun is going to move clearly. So here's the front yard. Um, it is a little bit, yeah, the sun is behind a cloud right now. So this is with cloudy conditions. This is what my lawn looks like with the iPhone 14 Pro here that I do all my videos on. Uh, this is what the lawn is looking like. Um, I hope to be able to maybe throw this clip on top of the clip we do later. I'm going to try. I'm standing right here. You see where I'm standing, right? I'm standing right here by this stuff. And this is what it's looking like. So maybe if I stand right here later on in the afternoon, we can see, did it make a difference? Yes or no. Um, and, I, and if it don't, then we're going to just say that. Sarah Jane wants to show you the little wormy she found. So cute. A cute worm. That's our little aerators for free, right? So put them back out there because we want them to aerate the grass. Well, he wanted water back. Oh. So there you go. So that's what... Um, we'll just we'll keep it simple, uh, but this is what now the sun's coming out a little bit You can see on the bank there, uh, but this is what it's looking like now. It's a good color um, But that's the fun part of it will green effect spraying it. Um, will it make a difference? So uh, we're gonna put it down. We'll come back later on this afternoon guys our 700 green effect is now down we do not need to water it in the grass will do all the work the weather the sun it will absorb it at that seven percent urea nitrogen that six percent iron it will absorb it and we should see a color change within an hour or three um, I did add a little bit more than eight ounces per thousand. I probably actually did like nine or 10 ounces per thousand because I added a little bit more because uh, th that protein has been run out for a while now. We'll come back later on today at some point, show you, did it make a difference? And we'll try to overlay the clips from this morning on top in the front yard and see. So we'll be back. So guys, it's been about two and a half, three hours. And I will honestly, hand on the Bible, tell you I can already see the color change. Uh, that being the case, I'm not sure if it will get any darker than this, uh, but it is 100. You got that iron smell in the air, but 100% it is darker. Um, you can just visually tell. So uh, I will uh, stand back in this spot over here where I was earlier. The sun is obviously going to play tricks with this, but this is the view now. The sun fully out, not behind clouds. And this is what it looks like now. So I just wanted to give you like a two and a half, three hour um into the spray 
Um, to me, I, I, well, obviously my hands have a little bit of iron on it as well, but I can 100% tell it's different, but we're gonna wait till the evening, hopefully, and we'll truly be able to see then. So we'll see you in a few more hours. All right, guys, so it's almost dark. I'm back in that spot where I was earlier, and this is what it looks like around 7.35ish in the evening. Here you go. Um, definitely can smell the iron. It is definitely darker um, in person, uh, 100%. I don't know if the camera, I wanna to try to show you this overlay with what we showed you earlier, um, back and forth maybe once or twice. But uh, all I can tell you is you got that smell of iron, you got the urea, and uh, yeah. It definitely looks better. Now I did trim, I bought some new weed eater uh, string, tried that out. So I did tree, trim around the uh, <laughs> trim around the tree, um, but it definitely looks darker. So hopefully I was able to show you the two different um, uh, transition there. In the trim area, remember, that's because I do my trim pass. I didn't show you guys that. When I showed you spraying it, I only showed you the bulk spray. So I have to be careful because if I hit the trim pass area twice, it definitely gets that dark look and like this, uh, darker. Because um, everywhere you spray that stuff, it's going to get darker. So there's the side. Um, and again, here's the comparison like we did this morning between the neighbor's line and my line 100% looks darker. I mean, it's there's no doubt about it, um, but I don't know. We'll compare that to what I uh, looked at. Maybe I'll take a snapshot of what earlier looked like. So there's that. I did water some in the evening as well because I'm still getting some dry spots up here. This is not a lawn review. It's getting a little shaggy, but yeah, it does look better, but I'm still getting some of these areas that are still stressing out. So, but it does look darker. So the liquid magic works. If you've got something coming up, you know, what is it? Labor day coming up in September. I'm not sure. Uh, I lose track, but, uh, man, this green effect stuff, the link will be below. If you're interested, I did 10 ounces per thousand somewhere around those lines and it definitely darkened it up. Um, but it, it, it is going to cause a little bit of top growth as well. So you will have to get out here and mow it some uh, if it does grow on top anyway. So just wanted to show you that. We'll close it there. Um, I don't know what the length of this video will be, but green effect, there we go. We got the lawn a little bit darker shade, which is what the goal was. So wanted to show you this before dark. So God bless you guys. We'll see you on the next lawn care video here from Central North Carolina. See you later.